Oh my gosh, what a crazy week we've had. So this week, this little video, it's not on our usual Friday slot for Nomad. We've just released a course for tattoo artists and people who want to design their own tattoos. So this particular bit on screen is a little bit of augmented reality where we took a, an image of a clown that we'd made and we just popped it in the studio. But the whole course is about how to take images like this and apply them onto models in 3D on your iPad. So if you're a tattoo artist or a designer, then this could be for you. So take a look at the video and we can show you how we do this, this kind of artwork. So what a crazy couple of months then. So those of you that follow the channel will remember some of these sort of images I was doing a couple of months ago and I still haven't finished the, the painting um, part of this tutorial for this guy. And the reason I haven't is because we moved on to um, doing some tattoo work and that's what I'm going to talk to you now. I'll just turn this guy's beard off for a minute and I'll just turn off the lights up here with, uh, if you go up to the top here in Nomad, you'll know you can turn your light icons off just to stop that distraction. Mm -hmm. So what actually happened was we uh, started working on, on this piece. So it's a sculpt from a, from a, a miniature painter um, and, I, and I'm still doing the tutorial of the painting using the real world techniques, but we started doing tattoos on him. And what happened was we, we uh, were approached by Skin and Ink magazine, who are a very famous um, tattoo magazine that's been around since 1992. They've got a big following in America uh, and they're in all the big stores like Barnes and Noble and Target and, and Walmart. And they asked us to explore um, how a tattoo artist could use something like Nomad to show tattoos to their clients. Because we've been doing this kind of thing, um, they wanted us to, to, to give them some uh, videos of, of how we would do it. So what we did was we prepared um, an article which has just been released this week, which is um, available in that magazine if you want to go and purchase that. Um, if we can, we'll put a link down below. So check there and you can see um, if, it, if it's available in your country. Now, Skin and Ink magazine did the, the, the article because it's obviously a, a, a paper magazine for primarily, um, but they also um, give digital assets away. So they gave a video and we did a one hour video and you'll have seen some of that in recent videos. And that's all about the kind of process we went through to get to doing this kind of model. So the reason it got better during the, the, the time of making that video and then making what I'm going to tell you about in a minute, which is the course, is that is that Nomad and and Stefan and Ginia who who codes it on his own added the ability to add textures. So I'll just quickly during this this tutorial this YouTube video I'm going to show you the couple of ways that in the course I'll show you how to get artwork onto a model and use it to show people if you're designing a tattoo. I'll show you those in on a sphere or something really simple like I normally do. But the point is, there's a really valid process now for an artist, instead of just using Procreate to go ahead and, and, and overpaint or de you know design your tattoo in any way that you want, draw it, draw it digitally, scan it if you've got a photograph and then work over the top of that, and then composite that over a 2D photograph of somebody. That's a, a very traditional way of doing it, really. I say traditional because it's quite new. Obviously, it's digital. So, um, And a lot of tattoo artists that I know and work with over the years, they do that in Procreate. They use an Apple Pencil, the same as me. It's just that they're using very different software. Well, now we've got quite a few options, and, and Nomad Sculpt is the one that I'm saying is quite great, is, is, is really useful for this because of things like the layers, um, and because you you know you, you can actually put all different body parts in here, and you can you can then put those tattoos onto the to the surface of of the body and show a client what it would look like. You could show a client what it looks like on their face. You could show it what it looks like on their arm. You could show them what different uh, sleeves look like, whether it be a full sleeve, the Japanese style sleeve, um, a half sleeve, a quarter sleeve. You can actually show them the placement. And then you can go ahead and actually put the artwork on there. And, and the ability to do that is incredible because you can now use your iPad to draw the tattoo. You can use it to paint the tattoo to get the design done. So you've got the design element is done. You've got the ability to use the iPad to composite over a photograph if you want. And you've now got this other option 
which is if you learn some of these basic um, 3D skills, and I don't mean the, the act of making this uh, the body part, because obviously a lot of people would, you know, you, you wouldn't have a, initially you wouldn't have the ability to do the, the sculpting of, of this um, body part, but you can very quickly learn that as you are using something like um, th this, which is what, what I'm showing you now, which is this is a clown we've done this week. Now, we actually made this guy in Nomad, so we sculpted it, and this isn't what that course and what that um, the, the, the tattoo article is about, but we, we, we decided we would even, you know, make some kind of characters and creatures in Nomad and then switch over to uh, Procreate, and we've actually used that for a tattoo design. So we've isolated him off the background, which you can do in Nomad, uh, and then we brought that straight back into um, Nomad onto a body part. So if you switch over to a body part, just use a paintbrush, then change the settings in your stroke to match mine. So you go maximum fall off, so it's a square, and change to grab dynamic, and then just set the image you want. So I've got the clown there that I exported. And that's in my photos so if you go into photos you'll see it there and then that gives you the ability to do what i was showing you so um and this obviously is over the top of that layout where it shows the the different types of sleeves so if you wanted to explore where a sleeve would go and how to build up a sleeve you could build up lots of different images and just literally start working it out like this in Nomad about how your sleeve would, would, would you know, grow around. Obviously there's issues like that there where they're stretching and you can, you can solve some of this. So for example, you can turn off um, front facing vertex only, you can switch that on. What that means is now, instead of it going back and front, that'll only, um, it'll only basically project it onto the front. It won't stop the stretching when you go round, uh, uh, you know, something like that. You'll, you'll still see that stretching, but that's why you would do it in segments. So there's lots of little things and lots of little tips and tricks like that where you can really um, push the, the design in a number of ways that you wouldn't normally. So you'd start it start it on the iPad, you could start it, um, you know, pen and ink and, and then scan it, or you can move on and you can try this sort of method where you can where you can actually show it on a body part. So let me just show you quickly the couple of ways. These are all detailed in the course, but I just want to show you how how simple it would be to do the, the two main methods, which is one with an alpha stamp and one with the texture. So I'll just make sure you, you, you can do exactly what I do and then you'll understand it. So let's switch to a basic sphere. So we'll validate that sphere. What that means is you can now sculpt on it. A lot of people who are familiar with Nomad are going to know all of this, but it's it's a, it's a good one to reiterate it. So, so we've got the UV sphere up here in the scene menu. We'll go to the next one along, Topology, and we'll subdivide it. And what that's doing is if you switch this little wireframe button on down here, actually the wireframe button isn't showing, which means that it hasn't been set on up here. Now that's appeared. So you put it on there and it appears down here. So now you can see there's lots and lots of polygons. There's actually, let me see, there's a couple of million there, I think. So um, what does it say? Three and a half. So this is quite big. I've done I've done quite a heavy uh, amount here. So if you've got a smaller iPad, you wouldn't go quite as heavy as that. So we'll go to pick a basic skin color. So I'm just literally picking a color and force paint. And I've left everything else the same. So I'm not going to mess with the lighting in this one. So these are the two options that you've got now. So if you wanted to do a stamp, what we want is we want to change it to paint and we want to paint with the alpha. So this isn't using geometry at all. And that will give us the creature right there on the model. Now that could be the body part, whatever you choose, whatever, you know, in, in the course we talk about, we use a pig's head as an example, we use an arm, we use a, a leg. So there's all kinds of options to, to, you know, to try you know different things on different body parts but obviously white we wouldn't want so with an alpha version what we do is we pick a color so if i pick this darker blue like a tattoo color and you'll see oops didn't work um and you'll see i had a race on and what a race will do will give you that error all the time because it's basically removing the color from this sphere so that's a really good watch out you'll you'll get lots of issues if you don't notice that that's on so turn that off double double finger tap so again, just to reiterate, we've got that color now, got no symmetry, we haven't got a raise on, 
and we've got the alpha set to the beetle. And what happens now? There you go. So we get exactly what we wanted. And if you want to try that on a, on a body, you just do exactly what we did before, take a body part. And that will give you, that's a great way to give you um, some line art on a body. So it, it's, um, obviously it's not colored, it's, it's, the color is dependent on what color you set down here. So it, it, it just gives you your line and your stroke and your layer, and you can paint under that with layers, or you can paint over that. So if you, if you painted on a layer and moved it down here, it would be underneath everything else that you've set as layers. So that's the first way of doing it. So let's just go back to a sphere and we'll have a look at how to add a texture now. Okay, back to a sphere. Again, we stick with the painting, but this time we do something slightly different. So we keep this the fall off the same. We keep drag, drag, can't even say it, grab dynamic radius the same, but in here under painting, there's a texture option. And in here, you can just bring in the one that you want. So if we wanted a, uh, the one we showed earlier, the clown, we just bring him in. And now again, just double check, no symmetry, because you don't want two of them. No erase, because that's the big watch out that catches us all the time. And now a big watch out, watch this. So if I draw that, something's wrong there. Now, two things are wrong. One, we set this ball as a new one and we didn't do the subdivide. So we'll, we'll get lots of polygons, first of all. We'll go really high with this one because I want to show you a really high one. And the big mistake I made here is I left an alpha on. So what that's happening, what's happening there is it's combining the alpha and the texture. So it's cutting out the shape of the alpha from the texture. And that's, that's obviously, you know, it's going to cause us a problem. We don't want that. That can be used to your effect in some ways, but for this it's not. So we want it that off. And then it's basically just going to be driven by just the texture. Now, just be careful that you've got 100% white or you'll get this colored background here. So see how, see the difference there? So if you want nice bright white colors and depending on what your background colors are like as well, you must make sure you go back to a lighter color. Cause obviously if I went all the way to black and pulled it on, you can see there it gives us just a silhouette. So the color does matter, uh, does matter when you're doing textures. So that's how we would get those on there as well. So that gives you those two really good methods. Now, what I'll do is, I'll, this is the course here in front of you, um, and if you are interested in that, it is available from today, so please go and have a look at that. But before you even think about that, if you can just pick the magazine up, if it's in your area or if, it's, if, if you've got a shop or an ability to buy it online, you can see a couple of page spread of our article and also there's an hour free video in there as well. So you don't need to pay a penny for, for any of this if you just want to explore it. So um, so, so by all means, have a go at that. Talk to me on, on the social media platforms that we share on and let's have a look at all of the all of the different ways that we can explore this new technology. And if you do join me in the course, there is a private forum and we can obviously continue discussions in there and anyone who's already got any of our courses will already know um, you know how to do that and how to access that that comes with the course so all I wanted to do really is just show you what is in the course what's in the magazine and what we've been doing in the last month so hopefully we've done that in this video so if you're enjoying these kind of videos, then please give the video a thumbs up. It does help us to get in front of other artists who might like this kind of content. And if you're gonna hit the, the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell so we can let you know when we're uploading new content, which is every week. 